Deletions in a binary search tree. When we are deleting elements from a binary search tree, we must keep in mind the property of a binary search tree. The property states that, given any node x in a binary search tree, all elements to the left of x will be lesser than x, and all elements to the right of x will be greater than x. So, when we are deleting an element from such a tree, we must ensure that this property still holds. So let's look at the deletion using an example. This is going to be my binary search tree. Now, when we want to delete a node from this tree, that node can be of three types. Case 1, it can be a leaf node. Case 2, it can be a node with one child. And case 3, it can be a node with two children. So let's look at how we handle these cases one by one. Let's first look at trying to delete a node which is a leaf node. Let's say we are going to delete 0. So this is the case of leaf node deletion. So all we have to do in this case is we have to remove the link from the parent to the leaf node. That way the tree will no longer have zero in its set of nodes. So we take zero, we go to the parent and then we remove the link from the parent to the node we want to delete. So once we do this, the left of one will now be pointing to null. The resulting tree will look like this. Since we have deleted this link, one will now not point to anything or rather it will point to none. So now we have successfully deleted zero which is a leaf node from our binary search tree. So now let's look at the second case. Case 2 is when we are trying to delete a node which has only one child. So this is a one child node. What we do in this case is we replace the node we want to delete with its only child. In other words, we go to the node we want to delete, we go to its parent and we set the child of that parent to its only child. So we are making this link, thereby skipping the node we want to delete. So we are replacing 1 with its only child that is 2. So the resulting tree will look like this. So by replacing 1 with its only child 2, we have successfully deleted 1 from our binary search tree. Now let's go on to case 3. Case 3 is when we are trying to delete a node which has two children. Let's take an example as trying to delete 5. So what does this mean? It is a two child node 
deletion. When we are trying to delete a node with two children, we must replace that node with the in-order successor of that node. So we have to replace with the in-order successor. So let's look at the reason behind why we are doing this. So we know that in a binary search tree, the in-order traversal gives us the sorted version of the list of nodes. So if we delete a node, we need another node to take its place. By replacing the node with the in-order successor, we are ensuring that the in-order traversal of the tree remains sorted. This in turn ensures that the binary search tree property is held. So let's look at the example. We are trying to delete 5. Now the in order successor of 5 is the leftmost element of its right subtree. The in order successor of 5 is 6. So we need to replace 5 with 6. By that I mean we will make the parent of 5, that is 3, point to 6. And then set the right subchild, sorry, the left subchild of 6 to the left subchild of 5. In this way, we can effectively replace 5 with 6. So the resulting tree will look like this. As you can see, the binary search tree property is still holding. So these are the three cases which we will encounter when we are trying to delete an element from a binary search tree.